Hey, it's Sam with Just Grilling Outdoor Living. Today, we've got the second generation Weber Smoke Fire. We're gonna talk all about this grill, as well as tell you how you can get $200 off and a 100 day money back guarantee. When Weber released the first edition Smoke Fires in early 2020, there was a lot of buzz and excitement around these grills, and rightfully so. There's plenty of great features to love on the Smoke Fire. Unfortunately, there was a couple mechanical issues with the glow plugs and the augers, which led to some terrible PR for these grills. For the second generation grills, Weber has worked really, really hard to fix the kinks in them, and I think they've got them ironed out. Before I get into the different features of the smoke fire, I wanna answer one of the most common questions we get on this grill, and that is, how do I know I'm getting a second generation unit? Well, in late 2020, Weber took back all the first generation units to retrofit them and upgrade them to the second generation models. All the units we have at Just Grill and Outdoor Living are second generation units. But there are a couple other ways to tell, so if you don't wanna take my word for that, here's how you can tell. The easiest way to check is if the grill comes with two glow plugs and two meat probes. This was not something Weber did for the first generation models. Weber gives two extra glow plugs because that's the most common part that will eventually break on a pellet grill, regardless of brand. This shouldn't really worry you, it's just a customer service thing Weber is doing on the front end. Another way to check is the hopper in the rear of the grill has an insert slide that is a steeper slope than the first generation models. This helps pellets automatically drop into the auger. These are really going to be the only visual keys to tell if you're looking at the grill in person at the store. They redesigned the auger piece, but you're not really going to be able to tell when it's installed. Without disassembling the grill, the only thing you might be able to see is the color of it. The second generation augers are painted black, and the first generation were stainless. At the time of this video, Weber is running a promotion for $200 off the EX4 or EX6, and a 100 day money back guarantee. And you don't have to buy the grill directly from Weber to get that promotion. You can get it from any retailer, ideally one of your full specialty stores that you can find on Weber's dealer locator, but you can get $200 off a 100 day money back guarantee. So Weber's allowing you to try out the smoke fire for 100 days risk free. I love that Weber's doing the 100 day money back guarantee. It shows that Weber is committed to the smoke fire pellet grill and that they're very confident in the changes they've made from the first generation to the second generation, and that you're gonna have a great experience with this grill. Now before doing this video, I've been putting our unit to the test for a month straight, running it through the ringer, making sure that this grill performs the way that it's supposed to. And I can tell you it's run absolutely flawlessly since we've been using it. If you're just learning about pellet grilling and don't own one yet, I wanna to briefly touch on how the grill functions. The grill runs on wood pellets and electricity. The smoke fire comes with a hang loop and electrical cord that needs to be plugged in. Once plugged in, using wood pellets, fill the hopper, and then turn on the grill. Once you set the grill, the grill will heat up to the temperature you set it at, allowing you to cook your food with a subtle wood-fired flavor. The grill has a cooking range of 200 to 600 degrees that can be set in increments of five. That means you can smoke, roast, bake, and sear, all using one grill. The smoke fire grills come with a feature known as smoke boost. Smoke boost is a setting that you would use generally during the beginning of a low and slow cook, but you could use it on other cooks if you prefer. You might find that a pellet grill gives off subtle smoke flavor and you're just looking for more smoke flavor. So if so, use the smoke boost feature at the beginning of your cook. It will add to your cook time because the grill runs between 165 and 200 degrees, which is much lower than what you would cook anything at, really, because the smoke fire is smoldering pellets to get more smoke out of them. This is Weber's recommended times for using the smoke boost feature. When the time is up, you'll need to adjust the grill to your normal cooking temperature. Which brings me to the controller. The smoke fire grills are Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, allowing you to remotely track and adjust settings on your phone or tablet while at home. Once you turn the grill on, you can walk away and can control it from your phone or tablet. The controller can be updated via firmware, which periodically will need to be updated for the best user experience. The app is the Weber Connect app. 
So even if you don't own the grill yet, download the app and check it out to see if you like it. If you don't like technology, that's fine too. You're able to set and monitor ambient and food probe temperatures with the backlit LCD screen. On short cooks, I usually find myself doing this versus the app, so you don't need to feel like you always have to use it. The app does have step-by-step -step grilling directions, so it does have some perks if you're learning to cook and grill. The controller is waterproof, but if you're leaving the grill outside, get a cover, especially if you're here in Florida. Not only is it helpful, but it serves a purpose to keep the pellets dry by making them less susceptible to moisture, which can ruin them and cause auger jams. Cleaning is a big component for pellet grills. Weber designed theirs to be as user-friendly as can be. On most pellet grills, you'll have to vacuum out the fire pot before every cook, or at least every few cooks. Weber designed their fire pot, which is where the pellets fall and catch on fire, to drop the ash directly below into the grease and ashtray. This means you shouldn't have to roll out the vacuum very often, which you don't know how nice this feature is unless you've owned another pellet grill. The cook body below is designed to flow and direct grease into the tray. For really fatty, greasy cooks, you'll want to make sure the holes are clear so grease can run into the tray and you have no issues during your cook. Weber gives you a scraper with the grill to do this before cooking. I also recommend using a disposable aluminum drip tray just below the grates to catch most grease drippings. The included ashtray is easy to remove and empty and just slides right back into place when clean. The cook body is double lined for added heat retention. The exhaust vents are in the rear of the grill, which means smoke has to pass through the food before exiting the grill. The included flavorizer bars might be a familiar sight to those with Weber gas grills. They serve the same purpose and function, which is to help distribute heat evenly across the cook surface, and then they also help vaporize drippings into smoky flavor. The grill comes with lower cooking grates and a full length upper shelf. There is a side handle on the left side of the grill and a right side side table just below the controller. The grill also has two locking swivel casters for easy maneuverability. The grill comes with two extra glow plugs, as I mentioned earlier, and two meat probes. That's it for the features that make up the Weber Smokefire Pellet Grill. There's never been a better time to pick one of these units up. Like I said at the time of this video, $200 off and a 100 day money back guarantee from Weber. If you've got questions, Leave them in the comments below. Give us a call at the store. Come see us in our designer showroom. We'd be glad to answer those questions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have a lot more videos with the smoke fire coming soon. So that way, if you're subscribed to our channel, you're gonna get that notification as soon as those videos drop. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.